Welcome to my solo show at Port Moody Arts Centre. I'm so pleased to have the celebration of my works over the two year span that I've been filming and painting abstract um, expressions from my on location pieces. Both are included in this show and so it is called Transitions Plein Air to Abstraction. I hope you enjoy it. It's always <laughs> a pleasure to work with Jane. I've worked with her on several shows where she's participated in group shows but this is the first show, solo show that I've had. Um, her enthusiasm for what she does, the joy that she gives everyone when she talks about her work, when she does her painting, it is very infectious. Um, her energy, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's in my brushwork, I do try to control it. <laughs> uh, we are so pleased to have Jane in a solo show at the Port Moody Arts Centre. And Thank I'd like you for to say a few yes. Well, I'm so happy to celebrate with you all uh, this milestone for me, uh, largest solo show to date, and to be first time featuring uh, the original paintings that I've done on location in our communities, um, from here, Port Moody, Cypress Mountain, Galliano Island, where I paint on location to try to get this as just a gesture of the place, to be able to share it, bring that experience with me. And then from that, it's so exuberant, that experience, that I, I feel I need to enlarge it and make abstract expressions from those works. So they inform these abstracts that you see. It's a body of work over two years. It is all my newest work. And it's a, the best way an artist can celebrate is to be able to share it with the public. So I thank you very much for coming to this opening, to supporting the arts. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Janice, for this wonderful show, hanging it, and everything you do here. Thank you, Port Moody. Thank you, friends and family. I just love you all. <laughs> My name is Zoe Royer and I'm a Port Moody City Council Councillor. I am over the moon ecstatic to be here tonight at the Port Moody Arts Centre, really enjoying Jane Appleby's amazing show. It is a collection of 58 works that shows an incredible energy, very dynamic, alive pieces of work, and many which are expressions of local scenes. I would invite you to come out, check it out, show your support for City of the Hearts. And I just want to share one other thing. A few years ago, I had the privilege of taking a class with Jane Appleby right here at the Port Moody Arts Center. It was a class about 37 strokes, and it is so fun. Jane Appleby has this wonderful enthusiasm and an incredible generosity for sharing her talent and her gifts with everybody else. So if you have the opportunity to also check out her classes, I know that you won't be disappointed and it's for artists, non-artists, but everybody would be welcome. I'm Lucille Luce and uh, I've come to see uh, this gorgeous gallery full of paintings and they are beautiful. I've known Jane Appleby for a few years and she's really gone ahead and her newest pieces that are quite uh, loosely done are just, uh, you have to stand in front of it and just, you see such different things there. And I thoroughly enjoyed seeing all this gallery of pictures and it's been a lot of fun. My name is Alison White and I am part of the Blackberry Gallery here in the Art Centre. My good friend Jane Appleby has had her show here tonight with the opening and it is just a wonderful show exhibiting her exuberance, her enthusiasm, and her wonderful brush strokes. You can't help but love all her colors, her, um, her examples of the local mountains are just a wonder to behold. Um, I highly endorse you to come to the art gallery and see her work here ready to paint outdoors um, in, in the late fall as the salmon are coming up the creek and doing their last little effort here um, in their life cycle and in the life cycle of a painting uh, there's a lot that goes on before we start painting and being inspired taking a walk through the areas that we enjoy and hopefully um, 